What is good, YouTube? I'm Louis Gusto, and welcome to a day in the life of Chicago's most legendary content creator. Today, obviously, I'm gonna take you through a somewhat typical day of mine, which starts off at 5.30 in the morning. Now, normally, I'll head straight to the gym, but since I'm in the midst of doing a daily vlog challenge, I actually have to finish up the edit from yesterday. I made myself a little cup of hemp and yerba mate tea, and now, just after 7 a.m., I'm gonna get in my morning workout. It's 39 degrees, so not too bad. So vamos a correr por Lake Michigan. I'll be the first to admit that running on Lake Michigan in winter is not the easiest thing to do, especially first thing in the morning. However, the caveat is it is absolutely worth it. I feel so energized, y'all. <laughs> I'm here on North Avenue Beach, just taking a little break so I can update you on my run. I'm gonna go right back up the lakeshore. Running in the winter in Chicago is absolutely doable. I've been doing it for years. Just get your winter gear, your running gloves, and a positive mental attitude. It was just a leisurely run this morning, but I just want to show y'all. Got the 5K in, right on beautiful Lake Michigan. Time to head home and get ready for the day. But obviously around that time after my workout, I'm super hungry and that's why I make a big breakfast. So I ended up running an extra kilometer, kilometer, kilometer. Good morning, Rowdy. Rowdy, you ready to go? You ready to go outside? Let's go. All right, is this thing on? Okay, cool. Make sure you pay attention to this because if you want to get fit, in the new year, you wanna follow my breakfast routine. First up, I gotta start making my steel cut oats. While that's cooking, I make my coffee. Today, I got a brand new bag of Intelligentsia coffee. I get the beans whole and grind them by hand. Then I drop them into the drip coffee machine. I know it's not the best way to make coffee, but it is convenient. While the coffees are brewing and the oats are cooking, it's time to make my protein smoothie. I do make a vegan protein smoothie. I really don't like whey protein. It just doesn't agree with my tum tum. So I got brown rice protein and pea protein. I do a scoop of each so I can get a complete roster of amino acids. Then I add a fresh banana. I add frozen blueberries. I add frozen banana. I add a couple of scoops of collagen. Then I blend it all up to a delicious yet chalky protein smoothie. Oh, and I can't forget a couple of scrambled eggs. This makes a very balanced breakfast. No Frosted Flakes here, I'm sorry to say. After breakfast, it's time to get to work. Can't stop, won't stop. And one of the best things about running your own business is you set your schedule. Today, Narissa and I are walking to the Fullerton L train station. Anybody that knows me knows that I absolutely love riding the L train. Today, we're on the Brown Line, which is completely above ground. One of the best views when you go over the river, but we're not crossing over the river right now. We're gonna get off at Merchandise Mart and find a great place to work. This is Marshall's Landing. Loving that reference to Marshall Fields. The World Cup actually happens to be playing right now, but it was rel it is relatively quiet. First, I'm gonna set up a little music to edit to. Today, I'm listening to the new Metro Boomin album. And then, yeah, it's time to get to work. I'm actually editing this very vlog that you're watching right now. After a whole lot of screen time, I want to catch up with some reading. This is one of my favorite books. We are on day number seven of my daily vlog challenge. And I got to say, I have not run out of energy. And that's something that I thought would happen. On a normal work day when I'm filming or editing or writing or whatever, there's always a couple of lulls where I'm like, oh, I need coffee or I need a little break, a nap maybe. But this has not happened. I've been going strong for the past six and a half days. It's about lunchtime now and we're in River North. And so we're gonna take you to one of our favorite restaurants. It's a place that we've gone to many times. We order takeout or takeaway. Wait, what, what country am I in? Anyway, I can't wait to show you. Let's go. my kaze with some nigiri, some sashimi, and some hand rolls. Comes with some miso soup and a little bit of salad. Narissa got the sushi san specialty and a rice bowl. That rice bowl has some delicious salmon. And since it is the final day of the vlog challenge for 2022, we did want to go ahead and celebrate a little bit with some Japanese beer. Sushi san is located on Clark and Illinois. What's one block from Clark? Dearborn. We all know. We're all thinking it. 
So we're gonna catch either the 22 or the 36 bus and head back to Lincoln Park. Hashtag public transit all day, er day, you know what it is. I know that's a long hashtag, but just go with it. It's time to take Mr. Roddy for his afternoon walk. So we decided to bring him to Oz Park here in Lincoln Park neighborhood. We brought his tennis ball and one of his favorite rope toys. There's a huge group of dogs down by the baseball fields, but we gotta keep Rowdy separate because he's still a puppy. He doesn't know how to handle himself unless he's in a fenced-in dog park. You've probably seen that in our New York City vlogs. Now that Rowdy got his 5K run in for the day, it's time to head back to the crib so we can get more work done. You know, that YouTube grind, it just doesn't stop. So now it's time to get back into the edit for daily vlog number seven, the final one in my daily vlog challenge 2022. Even though I've had a ton of fun during this daily vlog challenge, I am pretty happy that this is my final edit. But once that's done, I actually have to edit what's going up on the channel for Sunday. Because basically, I guess y'all are the first to hear it. Starting in 2023, I will be posting content twice a week. Sundays and Wednesdays. I love making YouTube videos and I wanna do more of them. Now that I've gone through this daily vlog challenge and I've really got to kinda of get a lot of the bugs out of this new version of the channel. We have so much content to create and I'm super hyped for the coming year. But of course, I still gotta finish up this daily vlog challenge, so I'll see you in a second. It's time for dinner. We got some Trader Joe's steak brown rice and a little bit of spaghetti squash. Never mind the beverages in the background. A little bit of steak sauce since this can tend to be a little bit flavorless. Let's eat. You see the Mario on the hoodie. It's time to play Super Mario Galaxy. Actually, I've been replaying this lately, so I like to unwind a little bit at the end of the night. I work hard, but I also play hard. And speaking of working hard, I cannot believe it, Gus Donation. We completed our very first daily vlog challenge. We did it. Gusto Nation. Peace.